Hello, I am Kimmy with On William Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter, from the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. So this week, we are going to do a fun new free motion quilting motif. Don't forget, everything that we talk about in today's video, you can also find in a blog post on our website. So we'll go ahead and make sure that that is linked below. So you can see diagrams with the motifs and step-by-step um, -step on how to quilt those out as well. And then also while you're there, don't forget to check out our shop where we have lots of fun modern quilting patterns, perfect for your next project. So the quilting motif that we're going to go over today is a variation on the feather. And this is one of my favorite feathers. It's kind of more of a funky feather. Uh, it works really great in a lot of um, fun, more modern designs. It's not as, as traditional and it's a lot more forgiving in the way that you do it. There's really not any backtracking on this feather. So it's um, a great way to kind of introduce yourself to the feather, introduce yourself to that kind of process without stressing so much about being able to stitch right exactly back over your line. So the first thing we're gonna need is we do need a spine and whether you decide to stitch in that spine and trace back over or whether you decide to um, draw in the spine, however you like to put your spines in, I do like to work with a spine First though, I feel like it makes it um, easier to kind of see where you're going. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my spine in here. And I'm just kind of going across the page. You can easily use this to fill in the whole thing. You can do them, you know, a whole big row of feathers that way, a whole big row of feathers back, similar to how we did the um, vine design earlier on this year. Or you can, like I said, just use it to fill in different spaces. So now that I have my spine, I'm going to make a feather shape, but it's going to have almost like a heart, elongated heart shape. So we're gonna come out and on the end, we're gonna put a little loopy heart shape. From here, you can be done. If you want not as dense quilting, not as much stitching in, you can be done. If you want a little more detail, you can come back up here and just put a little spine in. If you come up here and then you stitch back and your spine looks like that, totally fine. You can see that looks just as good. So you don't have to worry about stitching back over your line perfectly. Just get close. From there, we're gonna come up our spine and we're just gonna make another feather shape. So you do kinda of want to make sure that you're working up your spine. And we're gonna fill in the space that we have, okay? So don't you know, stop short, come, come up here and just really fill in with those feathers. But you don't have to worry about tracing back over. As you can see, there's space between my feather here And move up your spine. So this is where, like I said, if you like to draw on your spine as opposed to stitch it, um, you're just trying to hit that spine close. It's okay if you don't hit it perfectly. From here, two options. You can either travel back down the spine. This is gonna give some spine buildup, some thread buildup. So it just is purely preference. If you don't want as much spine buildup, you could stop here, pick it up. We're gonna come back to the bottom and we're gonna do this side. Put in our first one, put in our vein, and then come up. Now you can stitch these from the top or the bottom, whatever. I'm gonna put a little guy in here to fill in that space. Put a bigger one out here. And we're gonna finish off with a little guy at the top. And you've got your fun, real kind of flowy, feathery feather that's so much fun to stitch out. You just kind of get in the groove and go with it. So like I said, if this one, if we were filling it in all over, I could come back in here and put another feather in here. That's going to fill in this space and you could do it as an all over design. Come back down, feather this side. I definitely recommend stitching your feathers out in lots of different directions so that you're comfortable stitching them this way, you're comfortable stitching them this way, you're comfortable going up, down, diagonal, backwards, however you need to be able to do it to fill the space. So now we're going to go ahead and stitch out our funky feathers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my back thread up, take a few stitches, and then I like to just make sure that those threads are back and out of the way. If I leave them on top, they might get kind of sucked in to what I'm stitching and I don't want that. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my spine. Again, like I said, you can definitely mark that out if you want to and then just start at the end of the spine. I don't mind the, th the thread buildup, it's never really bothered me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch my, my spine in first. When I'm doing the spine, I do like to do a nice gentle curve. I'm not gonna try to do anything too straight. I think a curve just gives a little more of a, of a natural flow. So now we're going to go ahead and go back and we're gonna stitch that first feather. Remember, it's kind of like an elongated heart shape. And then this is where you can decide if you want to put that spine in or not. Then we're gonna move up the spine and do another petal. So now that I'm at the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and travel right back down the spine to start over the other side. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and work back up the spine, off the edge, come down here. We could go ahead and put another spine in anywhere we want to add in another feather.
just going back and forth, we've just gone ahead and filled in our practice sounders with feathers. And if you're really struggling with feathers, I think the best way to really get better at them is actually gonna be the doodling part. Uh, it's gonna really help you to get the shape of the feather petals. It's gonna help you figure out how to fill in the different spaces. And it's gonna just get you a lot more comfortable working with those um, designs before you take it to the sewing machine. So grab a sketchbook, doodle them out, sketch them in all the margins of you know notes that you're taking. In your work meeting, we won't tell um, if you're doodling a little bit while you're still paying attention. So take, you know, sketch those out, get really comfortable with them, and then take them to the sewing machine and then start stitching those out. And these ones are super forgiving. You, shapes of your feathers can um, be bigger, they can be smaller, just make them to fit whatever, whatever shape that you need, whatever space that you need on that design. If you have any questions, don't forget there is a blog post that has all of the diagrams and all of the information that you need. Everything's kind of written out to help walk you through this design. So head over and check out our blog post. You can find that in the description below the video. You can also check out our shop. Where we have lots of fun modern quilting patterns and projects and things in there is to check out as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can also find us over on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you next time.